La Crosse's history is filled with Native American stories, and throughout the city you'll see many statues and sculptures dedicated to their heritage. The Hiawatha statue in Riverside Park, however, has been a subject for debate for decades now, and many people are wondering why it has been in a bad light all these years. News 8 Now's Tyler Job has a story. In the heart of the city at the intersection of Main and 2nd Streets is this work of art representing what La Crosse stands for. I looked at the history of the town and decided upon the lacrosse players. Elmer Peterson designed the sculpture back in 1981. I thought that it best represented uh, the city. History says Native Americans were the first people who lived here. The four decade old sculpture downtown shows indigenous people playing the game this city is named after. At the time we thought of them as Winnebago. Also known as the Ho-Chunk Nation. So it's Ho-Chunk Native Americans playing, yeah. playing lacrosse. Yeah, so. yeah. The Ho-Chunk Nation makes up a portion of the lacrosse population. Hiawatha comes from a different tribe. There's no name like that around here. Hiawatha was a leader of the Onondaga tribe in the New York area five centuries ago. It is not on our honorous you know, an honor to us. The statue in Riverside Park named after Hiawatha has been a subject of controversy for decades in the city. People don't learn about the Ho-Chunk people because they see a statue. Tracy Littlejohn of the Ho-Chunk Nation says the statue does not accurately reflect the tribe. It was a tourist attraction, not meant to teach anything. Peterson says the Hiawatha statue should come down unless... Maybe the Ho-Chunk ought to take and decide what to do by deciding if they want to make uh, the, make it into the right colors. But he'll tell you he's just happy how far his work of art has come along. That's probably as good a piece as I've ever made, free of controversy. This is Tyler Job, News 8 Now, Lacrosse. And of course, when driving along Highway 53 going into the city, there is a very similar looking statue to the one Peterson made nearly 40 years ago. The Hiawatha statue was designed by local artist Anthony Zimmerhockel. It was put into Riverside Park in 1962, and city leaders say it will cost up to $15,000 to take it down.